Do you remember on that wild night? You say I'd drive you crazy with one bite. If I had another sip of bread, I might have been a penny of it. But in the morning, I'm Kyla Brooks. The kind of music that I make is soulful blues, I guess. I remember that I already have a husband and a family. I remember the very first time I went to one of my dad's concerts and I was only three years old. And I remember being extremely moved by the music, but also almost overwhelmed. It was such an incredible emotional experience that in actual fact I couldn't stay for the whole concert, I had to leave. Um, but it definitely gave me the taste for it and then after that I always knew I wanted to be a singer and that was my dream all my life. Up my spot. You help me think I should leave my life but in the morning oh, in the cold light of day Come on, tell me about it, Paul. You know, sometimes I get people coming to me at the end of our concerts and they'll say, I was crying, but I don't know why. And you know, it would be grown men with tears literally running down their, their cheeks still. And so there's something about blues music, I think. And when, you, when you're really producing music from the heart that unlocks emotions in other people as well as yourself. Chemistry and me fly Too strong to ignore, too raw to explore But in the morning oh, in, a cold light of day. in 2016 we released Throw Away Your Blues which was very consciously quite stripped back and extremely exposing and bare in a way um, it was just the four of us and yes it's this album and we decided that we wanted to create something that sounded very much like us that was very much from our souls um, and we were so pleased with it and it got very well received and then when it comes to making a new record I always want to try and do something a little bit different so I thought well we should we should add to it now so that's what I did I sort of made my dream record I got my dream horn section the haggis horns on pain and glory um, an incredible um, keyboard player John Ellis on keys um, my favourite harmonica player, Clive Meller, and we just we made we made something that sounds different from from Throw Away Your Blues. Often different from what we can produce on stage because you know it costs a lot of money to to bring um, a band of that size on the road. But I think that that's fine. I don't think you have to necessarily sound exactly as you sound on a record when you're on stage because it's always a new experience and um, a live performance is something completely unique. So, yeah. I advance, you refuse Baby, you must be confused I got your eyes closed tight shut Arms full of soap and won't touch it's too bad, I'm the best thing you never had. I think particularly in the, in the uh, opening track of, of Pain and Glory, the new album, that's very politically motivated. So I am very much a Labour supporter um, and, uh, and a very big fan of Jeremy Corbyn. So. In that sense, yes, I do try and always write stuff that means something to me and if that's if there's a message there then I hope it comes across. 
Um, yeah, and then I do. I also try and write songs that are. I try and keep true to the to the good old female blues women who wrote very cheeky songs about being equal and often very sexy songs that you know we can do that as feminists <laughs> if you see him tell him i've been thinking my definitions of blues well when i first started singing the blues um obviously i was singing in my dad's band but i used to do covers of bessie smith and that was where I really sort of got my grounding. I started off with covers from Bessie Smith, Coco Taylor, Big Mama Thornton. And um, so I guess, I guess that's where it all, all began. And what I took from that as a teenager was how strong women can be. And it was really inspiring to sing those songs that they'd written so many years before really and they were already feminists and I love it. <laughs> if you see him tell them now I'm I would say that the blues is alive and kicking and as long as we keep making music that means something to us then it's always gonna stay alive. And um, I'm I'm going to be singing for as long as I'm able because it's what it was it's what brings meaning to my life and I love it. Because of my sin. If you see him, tell him that I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Kyla Brox, and I'm on tour here in Europe, and you're listening to TheBluesRadio.com. <laughs>